Hello and welcome, this video helps you to perform a wonderful Egypt build. First of all, you need a lot of flat plants, which is quite common start for Egypt and a bit of luck to get a stone nearby. Our opening is quite standard, you're going to build one or two scouts and a settler. We're aiming for astrology and writing tags and early empire civic. If you have time, it's a good idea to build a monument so you can get Lang governor earlier. If not, just rush for a Stonehenge. In your second city you should build a holy site. It will help to spread your religion in both of your cities and might help to spread it later in the game if you'll need it. Try to build your districts and wonders next to a river so you can have extra 25% production to them. Build a Tamananka wonder and place a land governor in that city. And to complete the stock we should target Lady of the Reeds and Marshes Pantheon. If you don't have stone you can build holy site instead of Stonehenge to rush a religion. You can make some projects in one city and build a Tamananka in another. And as usual you should buy a slinger for protection. With the two wonders being built you should go for divine inspiration belief. And of course sacred places which will boost your science, culture, gold and face income. Promote lung as soon as possible. Reinforced materials significantly increase production in your city. As usual you should target horseback riding for protection and currency to boost your economy. In a civic tree you should go for political philosophy to build audience chamber in your government plaza. Since we were building wonders, don't be shy to make a builder and chop some settlers in your capital. Pick monumentality for your golden age so you can use accumulated faith from our beliefs. It is good idea to buy or build four charged builders in a long city. Build sphinx nearby your wonders, chop everything you can and make some farms. Build few more settlers in Lang City. In a civic tree you should rush feudalism to get extra charges for your builders. In a tech tree you should not forget about a wheel technology. And not only because Mariana chariots archers are there, but because you can build a water mill. Keep in mind that PPG reworked that building and you can have plus one productions from all your farms. In your new cities, try to chop few more cheap wonders like hanging gardens or great bath. Don't forget to build enough farms to boost feudalism. Aim for civil service to get research alliance. Make as much trade road as possible and try to snipe great merchants. Secure your golden age with divine right and aim for mercenaries. Trade Confederation policy card accompanied with Research Alliance will significantly boost your stats. It is a good idea to boost your culture with theatral squares. Place them nearby your wonders to have a good adjacency bonus. You should go for education and banking in a tech tree. It will boost your science and gold income. If you have a good adjacency bonus for your trade hubs, Pick a free inquiry for your medieval golden age. If you don't, you can either go for paintbrush and voice or monumentality. Diplomatic service civic is our next target. Fizzle banking policy card will boost yields from our trade roads for us and our allies. Civil engineering will help you build another round of builders with a civil works policy card. Feel free to rush industrialization if you are on a free sim position. It should be easy for you to build industrial zones with good adjacency bonus. Since we should have really tall cities, it is easy for us to achieve any type of victory. We can make not only a significant amount of gold to help our allies, but we also can build huge army all assist or even achieve a cultural victory by making a lot of projects. Keep in mind that Egypt was buffed and really popular right now. So if you are not a meta slave, outseam your opponents with a wonderful Egypt build. Have a nice day.